Ray for a two for one special. DC Drift and Nissan Day. Yes, today is not only DC Drift Drift event here at Patuntani Speedway, but it's also Nissan Day. This is where some of Thailand's sickest Sylvia's, Skylines, and Sephiros come out to meet once a year. peak monsoon season and this s15 behind me is peak won't i told you guys in one of my recent videos when i was in kun ken the s15 is like top tier bucket list car for me and this blue one the fitment the color everything about it absolute perfection oh my god i need this in my life to get around this entire parking lot before it's a complete monsoon and then get back over there for the drifting to check out some of the drift cars and hopefully the weather holds off for me look at the skylines oh my god look at the skylines oh i actually really have gotten to a point where i love the r33 so much dude look at the sedan Look at this R34 GTR converted Skyline sedan. Now that is freaking cool. If you got a family, you need to take your kids to school, but you want to do it in JDM style, that right there is the answer. Bayside Blue R34 GTR. I think this is this an R30 or R31 sedan. I'm not sure. R32, R33. Another R32. Another R34. Another R34. This is one thing that I've said for years. The Skyline Club of Thailand does these cars so extremely proper. Like the Skyline scene in Thailand is guaranteed to be one of the best on planet Earth. Just as good, if not better, than Japan. I know that's a bold statement. It's a controversial statement, but I stand by it. These cars are built so incredibly well. We're gonna keep moving on. We're gonna check out some more of the cars here at Nissan Day, and then we're gonna head back over to DC Drift. It's super cool to see these here. The Fair Lady Z's are so rare in Thailand, and this is too very very cool examples somebody emailed me the other day wanting to buy a Datsun Z car here in Thailand and I just told him I said dude you basically better give up finding one of these pop up for sale is extremely extremely rare and when it does happen they cost an insane amount of money either of these two Datsun Z cars behind me both of them are dope but would you pay the asking price for one of these cars here in Thailand either one of these if they were for sale they would be listed for, I'd say 150 to 175,000 US dollars. Somebody has given a Thai model a microphone. So we're gonna do what we can and try to make a video. Obviously the Nissan Z community shows up in full force. I was just saying how rare it is to see a Datsun Z here in Thailand. Well, the 350 and the 370Z are almost as rare. Not really. They're a lot more popular. But the reason you don't see that many of them is because of how expensive they are. A 370Z or a 350Z here in Thailand is going to run you forty to $60,000 for your most basic Z car. I know it's crazy. We talked about this in another video. Like this yellow 370Z. This car here in Thailand would legitimately sell for 70 or 80,000 US dollars. Um, forget about the yellow Z. What the hell is going on here? This dude's just carrying around a bunch of hot Thai models in the back of his homemade pickup truck. Is this the life? What is this? Oh, it's yours. Okay. When it's done, you let me know. DM me. Nice, bro. Yeah. 
This guy right here is living the life. And of course, this being Thailand, the go-to car. If you're on a budget and you want a budget track car, whether it be drift, drag race, show, or street, is hands down the A31 Nissan Sephiro. These cars were built in the early to mid 90s and they came with an actually aspirated RV20, manual transmission and rear wheel drive. I'm sorry, the girl on the microphone keeps distracting me if I'm fucking. Anyway, look at this red Sephiro. That thing is incredibly clean and totally hammered to the ground. That is one nice A31. Oh, dude's popping the hood for us. Oh, damn, dude. That is nice. Wow. Look who I see. It's one of our favorite Thailand drifters. Hello, Christy. For those that are new to the channel, that's Christy. She's an ex-model, actress, and drifter here in Thailand. She has a 300ZX Z32 drift car with a Toyota UZ built engine, twin turbo, and it makes about 800 horsepower at the rear tires. Yeah, she's a badass. I just realized how bad I messed up. When I originally came in back there, I went straight for the S15s and missed all these S13s. Look at the S13s. Hello. Super clean. Look, that's so incredibly nice. Here's a couple S14s. And what's weird about the S14 Sylvia's here in Thailand is they're really rare. An S14 Sylvia here costs as much or sometimes even more than the S15 because there's so few of them in the country. I keep getting distracted by this. I'm like here trying to vlog, talk about this car. And then this is right in front of me. Jesus Christ, the level of dedication and attention it takes to make these videos is sometimes almost unbearable. Nice. I love the fact how the valve cover of the SR20 matches the SSR wheels. What's crazy about the car events here is the builds are so incredibly clean and all the parts are very, very nice, high-end, rare JDM parts. I keep getting distracted. It is, this, is, this is a very difficult vlog to make. Hold up one minute. What is going on there? That does not sound like an RV. Oh, it's p -Lack. It's p -Lack. This is my friend. He built the rotary engine for the Titanic boat. So you can guess. p owns a rotary shop. So you can guess what swapped into this Nissan Skyline. Listen to those brat raps, baby. Absolute favorite things about traveling the world is seeing normal, like regular ass cars that we never got in the US. When you're just walking down the street in Bangkok and you see something like this and you go, yo, and you see a Nissan badge and it just blows your mind. Traveling as a car guy is just so interesting because of seeing stuff like this. Dude, check out these little Datsun pickup trucks. These things are extremely clean. I love these little mini trucks. If I could fit in one, it'd be another well, mini vehicle on my bucket list. But me being six foot four, I don't think it's happening. I want to apologize if this video seems rushed. With what's going on there, with the weather, the constant light sprinkle, I'm definitely on borrowed time. So I'm trying to make my way through this event as quickly as possible and show you as many cool cars as possible. Like this R32 drift car. That is one of the cleanest, nicest, well done Skyline drift cars I've ever seen in my life. Holy shit, that thing is nice. Look at that back there. 
I'm seeing like crazy amounts of lightning and hearing thunder as well. We need to get over to the drift event before all hell breaks loose and we experience true monsoon season. In one of my most recent videos, I was talking about how the Inkey RPF1 is one of my favorite wheels ever made on any vehicle. And yes, that includes even an ambulance. <laughs> An ambulance on RPF ones, only in Thailand. <laughs> Bro, that's a bad. Look. I know these guys from our Club Twenty Four drift, and these guys built some of the sickest drift cars in all of Thailand. And well, I just love the underglow as well. <laughs> I can promise you that this video, because of that, is almost over. <laughs> 